a high number of our real life application problems that we work in our algebra class have percentages in them. Now we covered percentages in some of our earlier videos, just kind of the basics about percentages. In this video and in the next few videos, we specifically want to talk about percentages as they relate to these real life application problems that, that you'll see quite often. So just a, a quick refresher on some of the basics about percentages. When you think about percent, think of the phrase out of 100. When you break down the word per cent, it's per 100. When you hear cent, think of like century is 100 years, or there's 100 cents in $1. And so when you see per cent, what we really mean is per 100. Uh, a simple example would be 50% would be equivalent to 50 out of 100. 50 out of 100, the fraction reduces to a half. And that's something that's very intuitive. If you had a pizza and you ate 50% of the pizza, you would have eaten half of the pizza. So that's very clear. Now, when we're talking about applications, what we'll usually be doing is taking a percentage of a certain amount. And here's a, a very helpful equation that, that can really help. When you take a percent of something, then you're taking a percentage times what we call a base. A base is the thing we're taking the percentage of, and then that's going to give us a new amount. Okay, so an amount would be a percentage of some base. Now, one thing we need to keep in mind is when you're using percentages in real life problems, this is very, very important. We're going to express any of these percentages as decimals, actually. Now, we've, um, we've covered this in, in some earlier uh, videos. We should be pretty familiar with how to convert percentages into decimals. Basically, you just move the decimal place uh, left or right a certain amount of units to convert it from a decimal to a percentage or percentage to a decimal and that's that's the number we're going to use in the problem so for example if your problem had 48 percent you wouldn't use 48 you would use 0.48 because that's 48 uh, percent expresses a decimal here's a simple example let's say we had 50 percent of eight what's 50 percent of eight well, we would say 0 0.5 times 8, that's 50% of 8, I express 50% as a decimal, and we would get 4. 4 is 50% of 8. So anyways, this equation can be very, very helpful to us. All right, now, in these word problems that you're going to see, there's some key words you can pick up on that are um, very easily translatable into math terms. Let's go through some of these terms. Let's say you had the word is somewhere in your sentence, and we'll do some examples in just a minute. Is is equivalent to the phrase equals. When you say 50% of eight is four, well, what we mean is that it equals four. Another phrase we see a lot is the word of. So when you say 75% of 90, what you really mean is 0.75 times 90. So of is equivalent to the word times. And let's see, uh, also, also a lot of times you'll see this phrase either like what number or what percentage. And that's indicating a value that we don't know. If you don't know it, you're gonna say what number does this or what value is this or what percentage is this and that's equivalent to a variable. So using these keywords, we can translate English sentences into math expressions and equations very easily. Let's try one. What number is 35% of 80? Well, you know, just if we had not gone through that, that previous discussion on the last page, this would be really, really complicated. You, you just start thinking, gosh, I don't know what 35% of 80 is. But if we look at these keywords, like is and of and what number, we can translate this into a math equation. For instance, we could say uh, x, as in what number, is, which is equals, 35%, that's 0 0.35, 
of 80, which would be times 80. So we could solve our equation once we've translated it into an equation with constants and variables. So in this case, we could go to our calculator. We take 0.35 times 80. 35% of 80 would be 28. All right, so 28 is 35% of 80. And we could only have done that if we translated it into an equation. All right, here's another one. 45 is what percentage of 120? I have no idea. Um, I know it is a percentage of 120. It's less than 120. I might can guess, but I, I'm not sure exactly what that percentage is. So let's translate this into a math equation. We have 45 is, which is equals, what percentage, that's a value that I don't know, so I'll write it as x, of 120, so we'll put times 120. So we'll divide both sides by 120 to solve for x. Well, 45 divided by 120, and we can type this in on the calculator. 45 divided by 120 would give us 0 0.375, 0 0.375. Now be careful though, this is actually a decimal but I wanted it expressed as a percentage. So how do we convert from decimals into percents? Well, again, we know this well. We'll take this decimal place and move it one, two places to the right. So X as a percentage would be 37.5%. So let's read this again. 45 is 37.5% of 120, and that makes perfectly good sense.